Hello, my friend and friends, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kevin, and normally I'm here to help you fall in love with CSS, and if not fall in love with it, at least be a little bit less frustrated by it. But today, it's going to be a little bit different because we're just gonna be trying to be amazed by CSS as much as possible. And even though I write CSS all day long, every day, uh, I, I'm still amazed at some of the incredible and creative things that other people can do with it that I have never even dreamed of doing. And I wanna go see what some of these amazing and incredible things are. And I want you to join in that ride with me. So let's go and dive into CodePen and see what we can find. All right, so here we are in CodePen and let's come up here and write CSS only, just like we did last time and see what magic we can find. Uh, I think the early part here, we might see some repetition because we're on popularity. So yeah, we've seen some of these. So let me just scroll through this a little bit. All right, yeah, there's the last one we saw, which was incredible. So we should start seeing some new stuff now. That's super cute. <laughs> um, nice little Eevee there by David. Um, 3D effect on hover CSS only. I'm curious, we'll open that up and check it out. Um, hover me. How do you do that with only CSS? <laughs> I'm not gonna look at this code. I don't know. That's pretty cool. It looks like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, we're not gonna dive too, oh. So they're using Haml here to loop through. So I think there's just like, one second. We're gonna see really fast. Uh, and there should be like a loop somewhere in here, I'm guessing. Yeah, so there's like a million cells or something. Let's just do uh, star outline uh, one pixel solid red. Ah, okay, so there we go. So there's all these different cells and then based on which one you're hovering on, it changes, that's cool. So then it's depending on which cell you're, so that's why like anywhere within here, it doesn't move. It's only, so there's like, I guess you could have more cells and make that a bit, that's really cool though. I really like that. That's super clever uh, to do something like that. And it looks really good. Is there even like a lighting change on there? If it is, it's subtle. Maybe I'm imagining it, but whatever. I think that's awesome. That's by Vincent Durant. Wow, that's really cool. Really, really clever. I love these, these clever solutions. I'm happy I clicked on that one. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Free radicals. That looks pretty wild. Let's go check that one out. This is by Noah Blon. Nice. That's beautiful. That's so nice. How, that's CSS only, no JavaScript. That's cool. I mean, I guess it's just looped through animations, um, different speeds for the different sizes. And there's, again, some Haml and some um, Sass here, just so you don't have to write it all out. You can do some loops and do some fun stuff to to get things, you know, write a lot less code to pull it off. But wow, um, I'm not even gonna try and figure out the math they did on this one, but, Super pretty. That's so cool. <laughs> I can just look at that for a long time. Really, really nice. And then definitely the colors, I mean, are beautiful. The shading on everything is really beautiful. And also just like the, um, the speed, everything about it. I don't know. I'm just really, really cool. I love that a lot. That's really, really nice. Um, I didn't, if I didn't mention it before, just so you know that I will keep the, um, the links to all these will be down below if you want to check them out on your own. Oh, I see two here that I definitely want to check out. So let's open both those up. Um, so this first one's by Alberto Hartz. Hartzet? I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Uh, some 3D goodness going on here. Uh, yeah, that's just cool. Um, you can see there's nothing in the JavaScript. Really, really cool. Um, the shadow even on the ground is just the cherry on the cake for that one. So nice. And as we saw, so I have a bit of an idea of how this is done, which is exciting. Um, yeah, I, just because of that, when I had Amit Sheen on with me and we built a 3D cube with a bouncing ball and stuff, it was really, really cool. So it sort of gives me an idea of how this is being done, but it doesn't make it any less impressive. And the animations are really nice too, the way it sort of has that like, woof, and all the different, there's so many different animations happening here. It's really cool. Nice job, Alberto. Really, really nice. And next up was this other one that looked cool, which is this, woof. Oh, look at the lighting on that. Is that on hover, does it? <laughs> does it change? <laughs> oh, that's slick. The lighting on there, the shadow on the ground. And now that I do know how it's sort of done, like that shadow is not something that's easy to be done um, at all. Because <laughs> you're just sort of 
animating that separate from the card. So that's really nice. That the lighting on there that's shifting around as it happens. I'm impressed. I, that's by Ben Evans. Really nice. Really nice. I love it. There's a little like glitch there at the beginning of the hover, so I'm not sure why, but it doesn't matter because <laughs> it's just too awesome. Really, really cool. The fact that this is CSS only too is wild, right? They have all the 3JS and all these other things that obviously they add another element to it. Maybe we could check out some 3JS uh, things in another video like this one day. Um, but just this CSS only stuff, like some of the things people can do is just incredible. Anytime there's 3D in the name, I, I just feel like clicking on it. <laughs> uh, change view, let's go to the editor view. So this is, a th so steps. Click to toggle the details view. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's so, and like, even like the card's not flat. Like we have like a 3D on everything here. That, that's so satisfying. All right, so I didn't realize when I was first having fun with this, but this does have a little bit of JavaScript going on here, um, but it just seems to be toggling classes basically, right? Um, so they're adding and removing the class when you click on the body or when you, yeah, when you click, um, that's how it's, it's enabling it. Um, yeah, so it's, a little bit of JavaScript here just to give us like a button type of thing. I guess they could, I wonder if they could have done that um, instead of doing it with that to go like f pure CSS only if they could have used like the, um, the checkbox hack or something, but you know, it is a hack. Uh, so I get why they didn't bother with it, but I wonder if that could have been a solution here uh, just to say there's no JavaScript involved because this is just, it's so nice. And the fact that all of that, the little tilting animation, the, everything coming through, um, it's just, it's awesome. So yeah, still really good there, Steve. Um, that's why Steve Gardner. Yeah, it's still really, really cool. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. Even though there's a little touch of JavaScript in there, I'm leaving it in this video because I think it's awesome. And it seems to be, I've run out of CSS only searches here. Uh, there's probably other keywords I could be using, but I don't know what else to use. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna keep looking, but I'm gonna see if I can find some things that, um, so this one looks cool, but I have a feeling that's not only with CSS. So we're gonna, Ooh, ooh, we got some still life. I have to click when, ooh, I saw another one there too. This, this is. The art with CSS to me is, is like, I mean, I guess they had a glass too they could be looking at. Cause like, this is definitely, you know, the way that light refracts around and stuff. I don't know. Um, this is by Ben Evans and just, didn't we have another one by Ben Evans? Whether we did or not, this is incredible. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. I could just sit there and marvel at that. Mona, we're going to get into some of this art stuff with CSS, aren't we? It's all with box shadows. Wow. I'm just going to scroll here for a second. Like I'm scrolling fast. How many lines of box shadow is this? This whole thing is box shadows. Holy moly, it's just cute. I'm, I... <laughs> it's, n it's not gonna end, it's never gonna end. <laughs> That's like over 7,000 lines of, of, for a box shadow. That's nuts. Jay Salvat, you have way more patience than I could ever have to do something like this, but it's very, very impressive that you're able to do it. Wow, and just getting the colors and everything. <laughs> Really, really cool. No, I mean, yeah. It's amazing what you can do with box shadows. They're so cool, the stuff you can pull off with them. We got some 3D text. I didn't want to see how they did that. Oh, look at the little animation. Oh, that's so nice. How do you do that? Is that with shadows? And then, but how do you do the 3D part of it? That's the background. I'm not going to dive in. There's 3D. Look at the animation name, nice. <laughs> wow, that's so wild. Wow, that's just, it looks so nice. The font choices there are really nice too. That just, it's so nice. I didn't know you could do that type of thing. Is it? Oh, that's, they have like a ton of elements that are, Okay, let's just for fun make this one. 
So now, yeah, it's basically flat at that point. And then let's make it like, this might take a while to render, but let's try that with a thousand layers just for fun. And I'm guessing that's gonna make it super thick. Huh, that's interesting. So they just sort of like piled a whole bunch of elements on top of each other to get that like 3D-ishness effect. That's really interesting. Doesn't look as good when it's too thick, but yeah. That's that's really nice. That's one of the, it's it's a bit simple. Well, simple. I don't. It, it's really cool. But like the end result is simple, um, and it's just beautiful. It just looks really really good. And that's by Noah Blon. We had another one by Noah. Didn't no one knows what he's doing with CSS? <laughs> really really nice. Really really cool. Love that one. And you know we're gonna we're gonna finish this off by coming here and looking at this one by Amit Sheen because Amit's the one who inspired this entire series. Um, I remember he shared this one with me a while ago and it's, even though I've seen this one before, unlike other ones, uh, I don't understand how you can do this with CSS. <laughs> uh, this is just incredible that this is with CSS only. There's no JavaScript involved and it's just wild <laughs> to me that you can create something like this. Um, so yeah, I think this is a nice one to take a look at and just marvel in the beauty of things that you can do with CSS only. Uh, and if you if you want to know a little bit of how this was built, Emmett did come onto my channel and we looked at how to do a really cool bouncing ball on a box that was rotating a little bit like this with a squishy ball, so bouncing on it. Really cool, it sort of can help you understand a little bit of how this stuff is made. So if you want to check that out, uh, the video for it is right here for your viewing pleasure. And with that, a really big thank you to my supporters of Awesome over on Patreon, Zach and Randy, as well as all my other patrons for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner on the internet just a little bit more awesome. And, and just look at, you know, if not, just watch one of these loop around for a while because it's just super cool. <laughs>